What's good, everybody? Peace and blessings from Boss Claus. You know, got a, got a few things on my mind. Uh, you know, over the past several months, uh, got peace on the east side of Los Angeles, brought on by Lil Doc Thong from the Six Pack and a brother from uh, F-13 that's, you know, doing time behind the walls. You know, we know this war has been cracking for, for quite a while now, and uh, both sides have taken some, some heavy losses, and you've also had several innocent people caught in the crossfire, caught up in the mix with this, you know. And it's always unfortunate when you get innocent civilians caught up in this madness that we live in. You know, I'm speaking on it because, you know, in my youth, I, and as a young adult, my young adult years, I was participating in the bullshit out in the streets, you know, and uh, it's, it's, it's got to stop, it's got to come to an end, you know, we gotta, we gotta get our shit together, come back together as a people, you know, black and brown, um, because it's all a ploy to, you know, keep us separate, keep us tearing shit up in our communities and, and destroying our families, you know. Um, Doc Don got caught up in some bullshit and, uh, you know, where the feds came in and indicted him supposedly for some, some murders that went down, you know, back in the day. And this is a dude who's out here, you know, he had, he admitted his faults, what he had done in the past, you know, like a man, did his time like a man, you know, and then came to the forefront and decided that, you know, change was needed within the black and brown community. And um, he went out there in the front lines, man, you know, put himself out there to do his best to make it happen. And uh, along with the, the the brother from F-13, that's that's inside, you know, um, came to an agreement that, yeah, it needs to stop. And lo and behold, this shit has stopped. It's stopped, you know. Um, and it seems like every time we have one of our one of our own that's trying to do something positive, that's trying to do something good, they find a way establishment, you know, finds a way, the government finds a way to shut it down, you know, to shut that person down. So they'll try to dig up some dirt, they'll come up with some, some bullshit, you know, some fictitious bullshit even, just to get you out of the way. You know, crime is down in that area, you know, as a direct result of this truce that's going on between the coasts and the Florencias. You know, and I, I got to give props to, to both neighborhoods for um, coming together like this and showing that it could be done. You know, we had the truce of nine dudes cracking back in the days, and, you know, the police had to fuck that up because, you know, it, it got boring for them. Their job got boring because the gangbangers weren't out there taking each other out. They weren't out there blowing up each other's houses and cars. You know, they weren't out there blowing up each other's blocks. It was really peaceful and tranquil. And, you know, people were able to go to neighborhoods that they hadn't been to since they were kids or maybe not at all because of what side of town, what neighborhood they lived in. You know, families were reunited because of that truce. You know what I'm saying? Um, families were reunited because it was F-13 and East Coast troops because you, you got mixed babies, you know, from, who got a parent from both sides. I know several myself, you know, uh, but to take this man, Dr. Ong, Paul Harris, off the streets, you know, when he's out here making a difference, helping to make a difference, a real difference in the community, that's some straight bullshit, you know, and uh, everybody else that's that has a voice out there, they need to speak, you know, they need to make that voice heard, all right, we're talking on the racial injustices and all that, that's great. That's awesome, you know. But let's talk about these other injustices that are going on as well within our communities. You know, this is another version of racial injustice because you're taking somebody 
out of the picture who's done nothing but positive. You know, we can look back at his past. And like I said, the man has made his amends. You know, and this is another form of amends he's making to the community by, you know, bringing peace. And uh, we got to keep him. We got to keep him out here. His place is out here in the streets, you know, making sure that the peace are, uh, that the peace stays and that it grows and that it spreads. And eventually it'll spread to, to other neighborhoods as well. And it'll spread to other sides of town as well, to the west side, you know, of uh, Los Angeles as well, get, get these peace treaties going that have been, uh, you know, needed, well needed, man. Uh, we need to free this man. Everybody that got a voice, man, y'all need to get out there and talk, you know, get more information about the brother and uh, come together and help this man, you know, get him back out here where he belongs with his family, with his community to continue this healing process that he set off, you know, they always want to take the healers from us, especially at the most crucial times like this, you know, we dealing with COVID, yeah. But we also dealing with the loss of lives out there in these streets behind this gang banging bullshit. And it's old. And it's, you know, it's just got to stop. Kids can't play outside anymore like they used to. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's, it's just got to come to an end. So I'm challenging all my brothers that's, in, that's, that's got a voice. You know, all my sisters that's got a voice. To get out there and open your mouths. You know, make your voices heard. Not just for Doc Thone, but for other people who are unrighteously placed behind bars. People that could be making a difference out here on the outside. You know, let's make some noise for Larry Hoover and out of Chicago, who's at ADX in Florence, Colorado. You know, get that man back out here so he can try to heal, you know, help his city heal. Because they're going through it as well. You know, I pray for everybody that's affected by the bullshit out here. You know, my prayers are with Doc Thone and his family. Stay strong, bruh. I don't know you personally, but I, I know you. You can feel me? And um, I love you for what you've been doing, man. And I pray that the system, that our government realizes that they're causing more, more harm than anything, you know, with this fictitious bullshit that they got you in there for, man. You know, we need you out here. We need more people like you out here. And hopefully more of the G's from back in the day, from the 70s, 80s, will continue to, you know, step up and step out and speak up and speak out, you know, to create the change that's needed in our in our communities. Because we, we hurting bad, man. You know, we hurting. And uh, y'all making a, a big difference for us. So much love and respect from Keith Boss Claus.